What is up everybody? This is Coaster Pete here from Club Coaster coming back with another episode of Royal Valley. So in this episode, we will be working on the main purpose we'll be working on is our the, the loading platform, the station of our first roller coaster in this park, which is a BM inverted roller coaster. <clears throat> so at but first, I gotta do a little bit of uh, okay, I gotta do work on a little bit of of things here first. But, okay. So just like I've been working on a couple back a backstage area that meets up a backstage area that meets up with that meets up with three shops with these three buildings. Such as So we're making like a, a ridiculously long like a big back a backstage area. A backstage area? Like this, like these three, like these three, these three facilities both do share a backstage area. These three shops and facilities do share back, do share a backstage area. They share a backstage area. <coughs> Pardon me. And seven, like. Finding and trying, trying to find, um, I'm trying to find a perfect door, like, a perfect door. Like, I'm out now. And I've been adding a recyc recycle bins. So, like, in real life, the vendors would, like, the vendors, the employees would, have, would use these backstage areas to at least take out the garbage. To take out the garbage. Or something. And yeah, so here we are at it. Here we are at- here we are at it. Working on the b &M inverted roll- the b &M inverted roller coaster. We gotta get realistic here. We gotta add eight, eight cars per train. Like, I don't know any BM invert roller coaster that has nine cars per train. So we gotta get realistic. Because they really have eight cars per train. The BM invert roller coasters do. So, um, okay. So basically, I've been trying to aim for like for a like a Spanish theme, maybe? And I've tr been trying to, I've been trying to, well, I've been trying to, I was theme the station to, to like to resemble a church slash mission to, to a church slash mission and I've been trying a couple different colors, colors as well, a couple different paint colors as well. For the walls and stuff, and I'm still trying to think of a name for this roller coaster. I'm trying to think of a name for this roller coaster. So I'm not sure of a name yet, but um, I've been thinking of a name such as. I'm trying to theme it at the theme it after to name it after like a mission attack or something. Like I've been I've been thinking of a name called Mission Apocalypse or something, or maybe I might name it a Spanish name. I don't know, such as Ataque or something, which means attack in Spanish. But I don't know yet. So you guys can 
Leave a name in the comment section. Comment. Leave a name for my roller coaster, for my inverted roller coaster, in the comment section below. And I'm hoping to see pretty good names for this coaster. Yeah, so. But I do you know, like, the basic. Like. I do know why I've colored this coaster already, and I've been coloring, like, trying to think of a cool color scheme for this coaster as well, like, I've actually started off, I've actually been starting off choosing, like, try testing out, like, a red color scheme, such as possibly gray track or red supports, but out like, that didn't look good. That looked too much like Christmas. So I've been thinking of, that looked too much like a candy cane, so. But then I ended up changing the color scheme. So I ended up changing the color scheme in, so I'll basically change this so I didn't like change this color scheme yet, but um, <clears throat> but I've been like go, trying to like go for a red color scheme. Like I first tried off gray track with white supports, but that looks too much like a candy cane. So um, I've been. But eventually, I've been going for- But eventually, I've been thinking of- I've- a, I ended up thinking of maybe like a red track, like a blood red track, a dark red track with bright gray supports. That sounded more like generic, like, sounded more generic. So, so I'm basically trying to inspire this coaster by Banshee a bit, because for like layout wise, layout wise, so, but um, I've actually been, I've made this inverted coaster, like the height for this inverted coaster, it, and it turned out to be to become turn out to be 172 feet tall on this roller coaster roll for this inverted coaster. It's like a it's a it's it's one of the it's a really big inverted roller coaster at Royal Valley. It's it's like it is a bit taller than Banshee. I kinda beat a beat Banshee in a, a bit. But it didn't beat Alp Alpengeist. But it didn't really beat but it didn't beat Alpengeist at Busch Gardens Williamsburg at I think the tallest inverted roller coaster is Alpengeist at Busch Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia. And But I'm trying to make this coaster more like Banshee. Like, I gotta go, like, research how tall Banshee is, because I kind of forgot. But I do remember that it was... Like... I gotta, like, research about Banshee's height, but, like... Because I forgot about the height. Like, I do know what it is. I know the layout. I know the layout and everything. I just don't know... I do know it's the world's longest inverted roller coaster. And especially... This is especially going to be inspired by Banshee because of the dive loop as well. Because I've also been adding a dive loop as well to this inverted coaster. You'll eventually find out in the future. So, um... But this is- this coaster will be taller than Banshee, that's for sure. 
This coaster will be taller than Banshee. This verdict. This coaster will be taller than Banshee. It's just I I, ju I just forgot about how tall Banshee is. I just forgot about that. But I'll 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 check again and I'll tell you guys in next I'll tell you guys in next episode. So, that's all I have to say for now. So, I'll t enjoy the rest of the video and of Royal Valley Part 6. And see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for so much for watching and goodbye.